Hello, beautiful souls. This is Ana Christine with Art of Awakening, and I have a real special guest with us here today. This is my dear friend, Lisa Berman. And uh, I just invited her, her here on this show because she is a, an amazing energy worker, and I just learned that she's starting to do work with animals. And I thought it would be a really fun thing to have her on the show and just offer her experience with animal communication. So welcome, Lisa. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. So I guess one of the biggest reasons that I, I wanted you here on, on today is because when I first started out with Art of Awakening and doing videos on animals and spirit animals, I had so many people, at least at first, assume that I was an animal communicator. And it really was never anything that I was drawn to doing, but now here you are. And I just thought it would be really cool to have you on and maybe help us to kind of explore the differences here and what is animal communication um, and also share your journey because you had some pretty cool stories about working with animals. Um, I thought it would be really fun to hear those and um, you know we'll see where it takes us. So Lisa I know we've known each other for a long long time yeah. and I, I don't know if you if you can maybe just share with me like how I how you got into first the energy work because I remember this but maybe from your own perspective and then how it morphed into animal communication or I know you're still working with people as well yeah so thank you it's uh how it started out many years ago is I have this background which you know and just a just an eclectic background in business and I was a businesswoman and what happened was is I went to a weekend and really it was to find out what was going on my purpose in my business and what I realized then is that I was an intuitive energy healer and it really wasn't about business per se but it was about helping people really um, find their place and for me to find my purpose and to help them deeply with clearing whatever blocks they had. So that's where that came from. And that was kind of a, and the, the, the awakening, the awakening. So that for me, it's what, what, how many years ago? Eight, ten, oh, when was it? Was it like 2013 or 14? I remember it because you practiced on me and that really, I, I really feel like that really opened up a whole lot, like in my own awakening, just really jump started. Right. <laughs> That's right. You were, really cool. Right. Was, thank you for all of you to tell you all of my modalities I practice on Ona Christi. <laughs> so it was great. It was such, a, it was wonderful. So I have many modalities and, and I feel like for my people anyway, that more modalities I learn, my, my body automatically knows which one to go to when I'm working with people. So whether it's in their businesses or their health mm -hmm. or, you know, spiritually that um, I, I automatically know which ones to use with people. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, and that was wonderful. And then um, a few years ago, should I get into my, the, the doggy business or or yeah. if you want to. Yeah, so you get a story about a dog, right? Right. So yeah. Our friends had uh, a, a collie with Kaylee the collie and Ozzy the whatever kind of dog he was. And they used to come over and they would play with my pupster, my dog. And they each had their own way to play, which was great. And But they were always over. So um, one of them, the collie is, you people, everybody knows, they shed. They shed like crazy. So anyway, I have many girls and they were trying to clean. And um, the dogs would come over for play date every Friday. So my kids are always home Friday cleaning and we had three big dogs in our house running around and yipping and jumping. So my kids would say to me, you know, mommy, I really don't want the dogs here. We can't clean while these dogs are here. And I would say, yeah, whatever. I'd ignored it. Right. <laughs> so one day the dogs are coming up the walkway and I'm standing there opening, you know, open the door. One dog walked in and the other one just lied down on the cement. That was Kaylee the Collie. And I was like, this is weird. Kaylee always comes in the house. They, we have play dates. So I was like, what is the deal with it? Could not get this dog to move. Couldn't get her to get up. I could just lie down. So finally I said, well, wow, I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if I can communicate with the dog. I communicate with people energetically. Why not? So I just sat down and, and not out loud, but to her, I said, hey, Kaylee, you know, what's going on? Why are you just lying here? And it was quiet for a minute. And then she said, well, the girls, I got, she didn't say, but I got that, that the 
she basically said to me, the girls don't want me in the house. And I said, oh, that's interesting, right? Because they had told me right before and she wasn't there and it's yeah. a dog, right? That they did not want her in the house. They didn't want any of them in the house sure. that day. So I said to her, look, it's my house. Those are my children. And I decide who comes into my home, not them. And I want you in my home. You are always welcome. And I want you to come in. And she picked herself up and she walked <laughs> into the house. And I was like, wow, that was, wow. That was really cool. Well, that was that's like an instant thing, right? She just, just an instant thing. She just, yeah. I talked to her. She said, okay. And mm-hmm. she walked in. Wow. And yeah. I, that was like, oh, this is so interesting. I really liked the way that felt because yeah. our animals, we don't necessarily, they can't talk. So we don't know what's wrong with them. We don't know why they're behaving in a certain way. We may have an idea. We may have an idea, but we don't know what to do about it. Right. So that's where I said, wow, that little light bulb, I can help humans with their, with their pets. Right. And, yes. you know, build a rapport, or help them with whatever's coming up for them, whether it's physical, because I also have techniques for that to help mm-hmm. with the healing. So it's an animal communicator and healer. Got it. Where, okay. yeah. yeah, but it, I don't remember you going into the animal work at that time, right? It was a, no. It was it, just something that sort of was set the seed, right? Yeah, it set the seed. Yes. And then... Then I was working with clients and mm-hmm. then they were telling me that their animals were doing weird things. So I was like, oh, well, let's work with you and then tell me what your, your pets are doing. Right. And then we, I realized, and I'm going to put this out there and I don't want to offend anybody because, you know, I've got my own pet. And, but what I found is that, that animals take on who we are and mm-hmm. they take on our illnesses. They take on our behaviors. They take mm-hmm. on um, our emotional state. So just for out there, for all of you, if you see your pet behaving strangely, that's not normal, take a look at yourself and what's going on. Yeah. That's, that's a biggie. What's going on with me that my pet who is very attuned to me is, is being weird or yeah. doing something out of character. Yeah, and I have a personal experience with that. You remember Jasmine, my big old yes. lab mix. Yeah, and she passed away a couple of years ago, but um, a couple of summers before she passed away, she was getting so, so anxious. And I had, like, I had just left this relationship, this long-term marriage, right? And moved a couple of times or whatever. And she just started getting really, really uptight and like actually like shredding my yoga mat and stuff. Like she was never a destructive dog. And I just kind of, I was getting mad at her, right? <laughs> it's right. Like, like, right. you know, and, right. and finally it was like, oh, duh, right? She's yeah. showing me what I am not seeing about right. myself. It's like, I, cause I was living in this situation with other people and I was like, I need to find my own place. So right. as soon as I found my own place, I mean, she, and I find out later too, she had some physical like arthritis that was bothering her a lot too. Um, but the anxiety went way down, right? And it was like, oh, but then mine did too. It was like, <laughs> it's like, I didn't right. realize how much stress I had been right. putting myself under, right? right until right. She, I remember I was talking so, about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Because sometimes we, especially if you have a real warrior spirit, you're like, oh yeah, I can deal with this. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, or we just don't want to see things, but right. the animal sees it. They see it yeah. and they, they really pick up on it. So really it's an awareness for us. So there's not, there's no judgment around it. Like for my clients is you don't have to feel badly. It's just mm-hmm. a, it's a wake up call. It's, oh, okay. You know, what do I need to do? And definitely. Yeah. So that's, so that's yeah. really cool. So now I have all these clients who are, who have animals, who I'm working with them. And then all of a sudden they're calling me to ask me to work for their animals. So <laughs> it's like, like, oh, it's like, a, it's like a, so it's, it's just sort of naturally kind of, right. Turn is turning into more of an animal practice or, or a dual, right? That's it's dual. It's, cool. it okay. feels like a dual, almost like a dual practice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that true? Sometimes it's like we just, no matter what we and you know think what we're going to do, we end up 
gravitating towards or whatever it is that we're supposed to be doing gravitates to us in whatever way. You know, this is crazy right thing you mentioned is that, that and I, I think what prior to this is what made me think of, I could do it with the, the dog is yeah. that I started out with a tree. All right, all of you, this is your idea. I started out with a tree. So I was working, <laughs> okay, okay doo -doo. so um, I was working with somebody and I, somebody who worked with plants in, uh, where she was from, in Norway or wherever she was. Anyway, mm -hmm. she, um, she worked with plants and she taught, she communicated with plants and trees. So I yeah. said, oh, I want to try that. So she said, let's do it. Let's, mm -hmm. let's talk to your tree out front. So I didn't. And I realized what I, I got a hit was that it wasn't well, it was ill. Yeah. So I energetically went out and I helped it. There were some things that, that were going on with it, but I was shocked. Really, I was shocked that I could actually connect with this tree. Yeah. So I figured if I can connect with the tree, right, I can sure. connect with, sure. you know, the dogs and pets yeah. and, and whatever. Yeah. So that was... So do you find the certain types of animals or animals versus plants or um anything like that do you find certain types easier for you to work with for me i work right now with cats and dogs mm -hmm. much easier with cats and dogs mm -hmm. i played with horses and that i believe would have gone okay but i have working through some issues with i love horses i think they're beautiful but for mm -hmm. me they're big and yeah. they are so smart that they can feel my discomfort with their size. Oh, so sure. they're not going yeah. to open to me because of my, it's not a fear of fears. I'm not fearful of them. Yeah. I'm um, not even anxious. It's just um, a little intimidation or. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And once that's, I conquer that, mm -hmm. then, then I'm going to, I really want to work with, I really want to work with the horses. Horses, yeah. So yeah, they're amazingly um, sensitive. Yeah. yeah. And I realized I, I can see, I can, I can connect with them. I can't heal them yet, but uh -huh. I can see them. I can see what exactly what's going on with them. Right. right. And I know what it is, but I'm not at that level yet or that connection yet where they can trust me mm -hmm. with that. Right. So I can for sure. sure know what's going on. Yeah. I can pick yeah. that out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's one of my goals also down the road, but now it's the, you know, puppies and the kitty cats and birds yeah. and yeah. so um, that are very fun for me. So I'm picking up from this that it's not just a matter of you being able to tune into their energy, but also a matter of them being able to tune into yours and, and relax in your energy. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Okay. They, they just calm. Sure. And then they'll, and trust. Yeah. There's a lot in the trust that I love them. So sure. it's, that's, it doesn't matter who they, what they are. So, yeah. So yeah. if, if you were speaking, like, I know there's going to be people here in the audience that, you know, maybe interested in trying out animal communication. What, what advice would you give them? Um, it's to, talk to them. I mean, you can just, you don't have to out loud say a word, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. just connect with them. So here's the deal. I'm going to tell you something though. I'm going to back up. I tried it with my dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she, and so I wouldn't necessarily try it with your own dog first or cat because I did it with mine and I got like a slap in the face. It was almost <laughs> like she looked at me like, that's what she did. Like she, she looked at me like, what? She, she was, I got, I got like, how dare you? She's, uh -huh. I mean, because we had this, we had this relationship and it was like, I cannot believe that you actually did that. So it was like, okay, you know, I backed off and I'm going to, I work on it all the time. I'm going to, you know, check into it that I'm going to ease my way in because it's sure. important that I get, I understand her. Right. But yeah. to actually, I think she was shocked that it was so powerful when I got in there that she was not expecting it because that's sure. not a relationship. Oh yeah. She's got a relationship with you. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it wasn't that. Right. So um, yeah. I would suggest that you try it on somebody else's first yeah. before yeah. you try it on your own. And you can like for, with Kaylee, I just sat down and I pet her a little bit and just mm -hmm. calmed her down. And then I just thought, and I said in my head, I said, you know, 
hey, Kaylee, you know, what's going on? Yeah. You know, what's, and then, and then you're quiet. Sure. So you sure. just you calm your mind and you're going to get information. Just like, I don't know who, whoever's out there is energy workers who are, who are into this. The first thing that comes is what you're going to get. And she was spot on. I mean, <clears throat> she said, you know, and the other ones too, you know, this is what's going on. And she was right. Yeah. Right. So it, it's that to me was pretty clear that she understood me when she sure. answered me the way she did. Sure. So, Have you ever asked an animal about the state of their human? Do I ever ask the state of a human? It just struck me to it's ask. It's interesting. This. Interesting. Um, I haven't asked them outright. I just have a knowing mm -hmm. that when they have an issue, I will ask the, their human if mm -hmm. this is an issue for them. Oh, so okay. I believe that they tell me by, uh, it's, an, it's an interesting thought. I'm going to, I'm going to add that. I'm going to ask. <laughs> I absolutely. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to start asking. I just have a knowing, but why not just ask what's going on? It just on struck here? me because it's yeah. like they, they're healers. It really, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little, a little they are yeah. right. I just know that this was, is what it is by the feel. Yeah. And I think that's, I think that's a great question. Huh. Yeah. Okay. What's going on with your. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Another thought I had was like a lot of times our our animals are so close to us. I thought, well, you know, when you were talking about maybe not starting with your own, do you think it's maybe that our energy is so intertwined with our own? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. it'd be almost like trying to heal ourselves. Which we can, the, we which can. can, which it can, but we it, absolutely it's, can. it's just a little the easiest thing, right? right. No. <laughs> so if we're trying to heal the pets and ourselves at the same time when we're kind of one. It's yeah. a, it's, I think it's harder. It's definitely harder to do. Yeah. yeah. So not that I, you can't, right? <laughs> so for sure we can. I just, if you're starting out, I wouldn't start with mm -hmm. your own. Sure. I would start yeah. with, you know, family members or friends or, you know, yeah. just to take a peek and that's that's sure. how that's how I would do it um in fact that's how I how I did do it I said to her I want to yeah. check out what's going on and then after that I did work with her the other uh -huh. the dog the other dogs okay. once I had that connection then I did continue with um working with the dogs when she was had had issues this is your own dog the Kaylee the, the, the Kaylee, Kaylee dog the right the yeah. Kaylee the collie nice right. <laughs> so Cool. Um, um, yeah. Oh, let's see. Would there be any advice for somebody that may be interested in becoming a an animal communicator as a as a professional? What advice would you give them? I believe that if try it out, you got to play with it, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be out there, play with it, and enjoy it. Have fun with it. This is just this is about fun. You can't hurt them right? Either they're going to shut you down and you're going to know it, right? You're not, you're going to get a, nothing coming, right? Or they're going to be open, but just be really relaxed with it and have fun with it mm -hmm. because they, they, we, you know, all of you who have animals, they communicate with us. Like, yeah. I just want to give you a quickie with this, this dog of mine. Okay. So when we first <laughs> got her, she was a puppy and our, our had, other dog had passed away, but we had raised up um, bulls because it was a boxer with boxers for their digestion, for their digestion, whatever they need to be raised up and not on the ground. Anyway, set them up for her, clean, whatever, water in a different part of, you know, the kitchen. So we sat down to eat and I set the dog's food up. This and is Charlie, right? This is my dog, Charlie. Yes, Charlie, this is okay. my dog, Charlie. She's, what is she? She's a pit slash Ridgeback slash mock dog. Um, mm -hmm. She's very smart. Anyway, so she? I fed her, yeah. So. So I fed her and then she came and she stood there and she stared at me. And I said, and this is before I was communicating, animal communication. Mm -hmm. And I said, this is weird. So I took her back to her bowl and her water and I showed it to her again. She's new in the house and, and she came back to me and she mm -hmm. had a very disgruntled look on her face. <laughs> so her bowls from the other place where we got her, they were, they were stacked. So mm -hmm. she looks at me and she takes one bowl out of the other and she sets it next to the other one. She looks at the bowl. She looks at me. She looks back at the bowl and she looks at me like moron. 
that's what I got. That's what I got. Oh, no. moron. This is where I want to eat. Okay. So I went, oh, and I took the bowl of water and the, the food and I poured it in and I sat down and she looked at the food and she went, like, like, really? I had to go through that? And she ate. That's what she did. So funny. Okay? So I'm like, so maybe I was communicating then. But I was yeah. like, look, what I'm saying is that you're, our animals communicate. Yeah. And, and all of you know that they communicate with us. But you can, you can go deep. You can go deeper yeah. with them but really just make it fun and ask to practice on. Okay, can I practice on your, what's going on? This one is peeing all over the place. Oh, can I, can I talk to your cat or dog? You know, yeah. can I see? The I, gamer's gonna say no, are they? <laughs> right, can I, can, that's what I would do. That's what I do. Can I talk to him? And then, oh, and then I was gonna say, just do a couple of freebies, but not many, yeah. right? And get testimonials is what I would do. And then, and then start charging mm -hmm. because there's people need for love. It. Is the need, yeah, and people love their animals, and that they, it's not like kids, or you know, you, they can't talk to you, yeah. verbally. So when we love our animals, I mean, this she's going on what thirteen? We've had her thirteen years, right? Wow. So they're they're part of the look. They're part of our families. They're they're right. So, right, and it heals just like you heal any individual. It's going to heal the whole family at some level. Yeah, and certainly pets because they're so entwined in the heart, right? Yeah, and unconditional yeah. love. They give us yeah. un even the cats, yeah. even the cats, right? Yeah. Un right? They, <laughs> they pretend, pretend not to, but <laughs> <laughs> they pretend not to. They're some dependent. of them are very like I've got one who's a total lovey dovey, and the other one's like. <laughs> so. And you know yeah. they're still they they love us and yeah. you know doesn't matter the standoffish or the lovey dovey ones. Yeah, so, they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I. Right. That's how. That's my advice. Just go try it and have, but really have fun with it. You want to have fun with it and see if it fits. So it may or may not fit, or it may be that it's. Um, uh, a client who also does that does this. She does um, like wild animals too. Oh, okay. So maybe your your connection is with you know bunnies or wild animals or right. like a bird. Right. You know, yep. see what what that is. And maybe your specialty would be your is horses or mm -hmm. goats or you know who knows. You know, we have goats up it's... north at our place. I think I'm going to go talk to the goats and see how there you go. See if I can connect with the, the goats on the farm. There you go. And there are people oh. that have this super connection with a particular kind of animal. Right, um, right. Or, yeah, like you said, the wild animals. I have a, a client who's an amazing photographer. She takes these incredible photos of wild animals and uh -huh. they're like portraits. It's like, wow, you know, right. there's that connection there or, you know, um, yeah, there's so, so many different ways to connect. Like myself, I tend to connect with the spirit animal, which is typically not the individual, but the overarching. Right. Yeah. Right. So there's there's so many ways to do it. And I love your advice to just play. <laughs> yeah, play but, and see what yeah. fits. You can yeah. try them all. As I said, yeah. you saw, you know, as I said, that the horse is not yet, right? And I knew that. And yeah. okay, that's okay. Yeah. So when you try to play with whatever whatever comes to mind. There may be the ants. It may be, I know you own are really in like the bees and the oh, wasps. The bees. Oh, no, you, the bees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have a real yeah. connection with them. Oh, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, because there's been times where I can go and put a finger in front of a wasp and take you it. Did you did that. You did that at our at our convention. Do you remember yeah. when we were together? You walked it out. It climbed on you and you walked it out. I walked it out. And, it, and I think you're right. It's like the, the thing is to not have the fear. You don't have the right. fear no fear right. they, there's nothing for them to get upset about and they know that you're trying to help them <laughs> right so um, I, and, and and you know given a, a little bit of uh, common sense too like obviously respect. Really you're wasp, not gonna but, right you're, you're not sticking wasp, your hand in a wasp like, nest. in the window trying to get out it's right. not right. angry at anything but it's sort of right. like it, it, it just wants to get out and right. it can feel that you're just there to help it Right. So whatever, I think that's just to have fun, play with it and see what, who you connect and what you connect with. What you connect with. And then, the right. And then go for it. Just go all out. It. Right. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> just, you see, we open our hearts to that because they know that they feel that. They feel it. That, that is so, for sure. Yeah. yeah so that's, so that's, 
It's All just right. what I... Well, Lisa, so, so thankful for you to share your experience. I know it's going to be a, a, of great interest to a lot of a lot of my peeps here. And if, if anybody wants to connect with you, how do they get a, get a hold of you? How do they reach you? So I would do email at this point. So it's Lisa, L-I-S-A, H is in Harry, Berman, B-E-R-M-A-N at gmail.com, Lisa H. Berman at gmail.com. Or right now I've, I haven't added the animal communication and healing yet to my site, but my website is Lisa Berman Clear Path Coaching dot com. Lisa Berman, my name, clear path coaching dot com. Great. So that's um that's that. And you can always set up if you want to. You know, I've got the the free 20 minute session. We can talk about animals on it if you want. So you can if you want to set something up and and uh, schmooze, that's that's fun too. Cool. There. All right. Well thank you, Lisa, so much. And for everybody out there, you heard her go play, have fun if you at all feel like you want to connect with the critters. Um, they're out there, they're waiting to be communicated with and and just yeah, and you can, it. you really yeah. can. So <laughs> All right. So, thank so, you so much. Thank you, Lisa. And then until next time, remember you were born to be free. <laughs>